They're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. Rift them. Give Might it time. Consider guard. joining up myself. Give it time. We will get the Dawn Guard. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the world of Skyrim. <clears throat> it's been a very, <laughs> a very long time. Just a little bit of recap since it's been such a long time. Our objective is to either A. Temporary peace treaty. Cloaks and the Imperials. B. Do the Imperial campaign. Or C. Do the Stormcloak campaign. Now, as much of a fan as I am of big battles, um, I think I'm going to take the easy way out and just go with the peace treaty. Which I don't think that'll be too difficult to do. Let's see, talk to Arn here. Alright, so I gotta go up to Yorvaskar. No, not Yorvaskar. <laughs> Throat of the world. Hi, Rothgar. Okay. Apologies if I sound a little funny or if I start randomly coughing during this video. I seem to have woken up with a little bit of a cold today. So just bear with me. Of course, he has to be outside. Because why not? Heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. Blah, blah, blah. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the world. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Alright. Sky above, voice within. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tells me the sound might be a little too loud. For you guys to hear me properly. <laughs> okay. So, now we're off to solitude. You have a chat with a general.
We'll see what we can, or what kind of medial task I have to do. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. You should see. True, I'm straight the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of war. Don't think you can barter with me like. I forgot all the charm of this game. <laughs> I've been too busy doing other things. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. So you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning Are my men now my... giving free reign to anyone who enters into the castle? Yes. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hadmar's alive. I hope that's true. But he has. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Lake and Bricka? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure you're being imprisoned. That's not why I'm here. Terrible misunderstanding. He Speak with Lake and Bricka. The Greybeards? Yes. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Uh, yeah, yeah. They are getting to be a problem. But yeah. I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. <clears throat> Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Most of the legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't avoid weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Dalmor resumes. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council for all the good it will do. Oof. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support. It's not. Oh. Watch the skies, Traven. I gotta go to a carriage. Haven't gone to Windhelm yet. I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. Oh uh, yes, so much to do in this game already. Pine Moon Cave is down to the southwest. But oh, it ain't fit for yet exploring. another thing to do. There are stories. Vampires, some say. Ooh, vampires. Not quite ready to deal with those guys yet. That'll come soon enough. <coughs> Need a ride? 
Yes, Where do you I would want like to, go? to hire your carriage. Take me to Windhelm. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some time. Yeah. They say the big That's old palace hear. there was built by Yeez. Hopefully I won't get attacked by a dragon randomly. Hey, watch it. Oh, quiet you. I have a war hammer. Oh, pardon me. Was I in your way? Maybe you were. <coughs> now we get to see the Racial tension. Eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm I don't know why, but that just sounds so funny to me. The way he says that. Spare a coin for an old woman. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. There's no glory in war. We You are That's not why. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Galmar. What does bring you to me? It's a time they turn their gaze from the to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for Greybeards, of course, and the dragon attack and plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even no, Tullius may be forced to talk does. sense in the face of such a threat. Yes, just one more. Ch and what would you have me do? They call me a warrior. He's against, against us. us. He knows that. Organized egos, button heads. All right, well, that was quick, easy. Let's get back to the high place. So that we can get this thing on their way, so that maybe we can trap a dragon. Because that'll be fun. I do enjoy the detail this game has. Neat scene. Northern lights. <laughs> awesome. <coughs> Love those kind of games because you can just kind of wander around and enjoy the just the environment. So you've done it. Men of violence are gathered here. These halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. You know the ancient word for war, season unending, and so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of
I don't know if we're trying not to be political. This graybeard certainly can be quite so, political. Arn Gear. You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? Oh boy. That's a that's the way to do it, Delphine. You're not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the dragon. Show up. Oh, hey, the Thalmor's here. That's wonderful. Let's get this thing underway. Come on. Sorry about that. Please take your seats so we can begin. Problem with using a headset when you accidentally I hope catch that the court. All come no. here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos hunter. That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. <laughs> Perhaps this would be a that good I agree time with. to get the Dragonborn's input. On oh, this great. By Izmir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Found more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Wow. I'm glad we agree on this. Sure. Very well, Ulfric. I don't like Enjoy you. your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We will not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! <sighs> Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's count, Thalmor. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Yeah, really. I have something to say first. Oh, here God. we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. <laughs> Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Uh, yeah, yeah. Temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragon. <laughs> nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yeah. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace. Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, 
General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor. This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Mm, well, let's see. Crifton gives us... Crifton would give the Empire the southern route up into Windhelm. Oliver Dawnstar Dawnstar would uh, cover Solitude to other front so it wouldn't be surrounded hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with okay. Cyrodiil yeah and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Gullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your name, but it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Oh, All Dwin has go. returned. The world I is think even now he devours the souls of your fallen three comrades. or four times. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. You see what talking to them gets us? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your oh, butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Yeah, he should come. Well said. He should compensate. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. <coughs> I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, <coughs> and Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaston. You 
both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmai. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. All right. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons always three words of power shouts by calling the dragon with a voice he will hear you wherever he might be he's not compelled to but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse like the the <laughs> your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over all I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Okay. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I'm afraid there is one more thing. A serious one. We know about I it. Who the greybeard deal. That's fine. His help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay. Oh, all he committed atrocities so feet. infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. Who? He needs to die. By he who, Delph? Who? Falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Oh, God. Did you need something? That's all. Hmm? Delphine, you're so annoying. Okay. Well, that whole political debacle is set aside. It won't last. Suppose it's time we trap a dragon. <sighs> Two dragons reach. coming to this moment. Absurd that you can't cook good sweet rolls. I you don't cook you. Now oh, I gotta talk to the Earl. I thought we knew what was going on already.
old dragon. Yeah, we're gonna have it on for now. Absurd that you can't be good. Sir. I don't it's care so what you have to say, you city. little kid. We're ready, Dragonborn. Are you I ready? My men stand Even ready. Even though you just said you're ready. Things are oiled. We wait on your word. All right, let's go. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. Uh, they're reforming the dawn guard. My city oh, or something. Dawn guard the dawn guard that vampire hunters and all. Might as well an arrow to the knee. Saw an interesting thing that uh, a uh, the arrow to an to the knee is really just a. Uh, A saying for one being married, which, in a sense, to Go me, then simply being shot in the arrow, or <laughs> being shot in the arrow with a knee, being shot in the knee with an arrow. Well, everybody's waiting on me. Oh, <coughs> Have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Yes. Yes, I do. Hold, I mean. I hear we go. God, that was a tail. That, that's not nice, sir. It is not nice. Uh, where's Dragon Ren? Oh, right at the top. All right. Where did you go? Yeah, oh, there you go. Leave here alive. Steady, steady now. Do you plan on coming down here, you stupid dragon? Come on. Your butt down here. Well, get down here. I can't fly. I don't have wings. Let's go. Will you get down here? What are you doing up there? Come on. Land down on the big open spot right here. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Oh, hey, you finally done. <coughs> cough, cough. <laughs> Come on, you. Follow the, follow the birdie. Follow the birdie. There we go. Come on, follow the birdie. I said follow the birdie. Why is your health regenerating? Why is your health regenerating? Come on. There we go. Yes, I did. I spent 20 gold. Position. That's a lot. That's a big expense. Alduin, hmm? 
No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. It looks like he just put on a big grin. <laughs> Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Voval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. <laughs> Yes. Many of us have begun that. to question Alduin's lordship. Yes. Whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Yes. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. Yes, you do. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafen, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Binduran pa ok medove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. So who lost Ofan Hinlan? Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um, serve you? No. <laughs> need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Grossis. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Oh. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova. Duh. But without the wings of one. You will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Oh, look at them pout. Onikan Korav Gaid Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. <laughs> Free me. Such a rebel. And I will carry you to Skaldafin. Incredible. Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. <laughs> Do not test my promise to the Dover King. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Kids, eh? You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in here? Yes. 
your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. <laughs> He's ready to open the trap. Was new. Sie need dein Rufe erst mal. Stand right there and block up the way, huh? Uh, walk around this side then. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Grezini, the freedom of the sky beckons. Yet I stay here, Nogal, as promised. Okay, I think that's a good stopping point. Woo! Alright, so we are almost to the... Well, we are on the last leg of the main quest line now. Oh, this has been a long journey so far. And it still has a long way to go. So, next time... We're gonna see just what Skull Dolphin looks like, and see what uh, looks like. Haven't decided yet what video I'm gonna do on Friday. Um, yeah, you guys should definitely let me know in the comments below if you want to see the next episode of Skyrim on Friday. Or if you want to see something else on Fridays, uh, some of the other games that I do on here. <coughs> As always, if you guys like the comeback of Skyrim, feel free to leave a like below. If you guys haven't subscribed already and you want to see more, then definitely hit that subscribe button. There's a long way to go yet in Skyrim. I mean, we still got all the guilds to do. We have Dongar going to be going through. We have Dragonborn to be going through. So yeah, we got stuff to do. Lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll be... I'll see you guys in the next episode of Skyrim. Catch you guys later.